Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty and today I'm going to do my video a little different. I want to know how you guys like it at the end of the video in the comments. I would so appreciate the feedback. So showing you a little bit before, showing you in store and then showing you more of my haul at the end because I did buy quite a few items today. I spent about $35. There's a couple of things I've already put away, but the majority of it is going to be shown today. So guys, the first items I'm going to show you are the Secret Body Cleansing Wipes. And you'll see in the in-store portion of my video, I gave you a review on these wipes. I really, really like them. So I'm going to make this portion quick because I did talk about these in the video. I purchased three of the turkey paint sets because I need three and I don't think they'll be available around Thanksgiving. So I grabbed them while I could. They come right here with three little paints and a paintbrush. Good for the kiddos, but I did grab a wet and wild paintbrush you'll see in the in-store video for one that I actually wanna paint, maybe on my second channel, Bonus Bargain Beauty. But yeah, these are really, really cute. They come in the little stand. And I think they'll be a lot of fun for the kiddos. They're hard to kind of stand up inside the plastic, but you guys get the idea. So I got these, which I think are really cool. Color your own decor. So I got this sugar skull and it comes with four markers, purple, green, orange, and pink. And I thought these would be really, really cool for the kids. Got that one for my niece. I got this one for one of my nephews trick-or-treats and then I got this one for my other nephew scary ghost such a good deal I, I gotta tell you guys for one dollar the kids are gonna have so much fun with these right Michael's would be so much more expensive I had my niece and nephews watch my last Dollar Tree video and they each picked out a craft that they wanted and my niece wanted this headband craft kit it's super cute really easy put together just a few pieces in there but it'll be fun cute little spider headband i think it's adorable and then my other nephew picked this out he wanted a trick or treat he wanted another painting project and then my other nephew picked out this ceramic painting set that's the ornament so fun so fun i can't wait to do these with them I don't care that it's 85 degrees out. I think we're just going to have a blast. So this is the one that I purchased for myself. I thought it'd be really fun to do. It's very pretty. I love the gold scroll. And I think it'll be really easy. You know, simple projects for simple gals like myself. I forgot that I got these too. I'm so excited. So this one has pumpkins. It's got, let me see if I can move this back. It's got like a little easel so fun right so fun and then i got the one with the red truck well i always think of this truck as red i guess it's just habit you get a coloring panel a paintbrush four paint colors and one easel maybe i'll make my truck green you never know live outside the box people so i got some food items i like the smaller sizes of the dressing so I don't mind that these are tiny. They're eight fluid ounces. I like a variety of dressings and I don't like the dressings to go like down to the quarter of the bottle and then not use them. So I grabbed Classic Ranch, Classic Catalina. I love that on tacos and taco salad. Zesty Italian. And then I did get the coconut oil. Sometimes I use this as a moisturizer or even on my dog's skin. So this is affordable for a dollar and I don't need a bunch of it and then I got the original barbecue sauce this is a good size 18 ounces so that's great I throw a lot of stuff in the crock pot and then I got the chunk white tuna I've never tried that brand and I love these olives so much they're so good so so good and then really unhealthy of course but uh, we want to make brownies this weekend so I needed just some vegetable oil so yeah, just a few, few items, um, few food items. I'm going to show you guys my in-store footage now and save all of these. I got a lot of signs, guys. I got, I got, I got a lot of signs. So I'm going to show you those and a few more items I got in the bags next to me after the in-store footage so I can kind of break it up for you guys a little bit. And I got to tell you, the store was much, much better much cleaner than the last time I went. I know they're working really hard on it, 
I saw a few comments about the cleanliness of the store. They're going through transition right now from employees uh, to new employees and everybody's kind of, you know, learning and training. And I think it got extremely overwhelming for a little bit. So I'm really proud of them because when I went in there today, the store was cleaned up so much. Now the audio may be a little low because it was very busy when I was in there today. And I get a little self-conscious when I'm filming, if people ever wondered. Yes, I definitely get self-conscious sometimes. And I had just come from a dentist appointment, so my mood was kind of mellow. So I apologize if the audio is a little low. If you could just scoot your volume up, that would be amazing. If you've ever gone into the store and filmed, you know how it's a lot at one time. You've got people shopping all around you, employees, you're trying to like make sure that you're not in anybody's way when people are shopping, you're trying to do the best you can. So uh, sorry if the audio is a little low, like I said, but the intentions are good and I really enjoy shopping with you guys. I hope that you get from my videos that I'm really shopping with you. I don't like to talk at you. I like to pretend that you guys are literally there in the store shopping with me. It's great for somebody who has anxiety uh, to get out into the stores. If you have thought about getting yourself onto YouTube, you should definitely do it. Don't do it for any kind of monetary gain because in the beginning it's really, really hard. But if you have trouble with anxiety, I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm not. But if you feel weird when you go into stores, sometimes having your camera, also known as my phone, to talk to makes it a little bit easier for me. Maybe it might help you. Also, it gives you incentive to kind of get up and get out of the house. Uh, that's another great thing about filming because the support you get from the people watching really gives you incentive to get back out and do it again. So for those of you who don't know, I do suffer with um, anxiety and depression and some other mental health issues. So filming has been a huge benefit for me. Um, is it a cure? Absolutely not. But does it help me a lot? Uh, yes, it does. So Lots and lots going on in this video today. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a long one. I haven't done a long one in a minute, so uh, I hope it's okay. All right, guys, enjoy the in-store footage. These are super cute. These little scarecrow harvest signs. They have with the blue and the burgundy. They do have the truck signs. Red one. I love getting these, but they definitely don't last outside. They're more for indoors for sure. Just my opinion. I grabbed a couple of signs. I'll show you guys when we get to my house. So there's not much of this left or they haven't put it all out yet, but the checkered pattern is here at my Dollar Tree. I know a lot of people are excited that this is coming out and a lot of people including myself love this pattern it's very pretty they have white pumpkins this year with the flowers that's cute it's different and then they have craft bottles they have more paint sets than the ones I showed you guys last time. I'll link my last Dollar Tree video at the end of this video so you can watch it. So these are the additions to like the arts and crafts kind of items. Happy Halloween. Some picks here. They are putting out Thanksgiving items as well. I have a bunch of stuff in my cart. I'm gonna do with my nieces and nephews. Color and ornament, these would make great garland, wouldn't they? You could paint them and then string them with some kind of raffita or something, turkeys. You can make your own garland. We pretty much went through this section last time, I believe. Creepy. They have foldable reading glasses. I've never seen these before. That makes it super convenient. One fifty seems to be the lowest strength. 
They have uh, all different colored like little gripper handles. That's pretty cool. They have new Westcott scissors. Kid tested. So they're like ergonomically correct. It fits in comfort, wrist posture, cutting efficiency, control, and accuracy. They have them in lots of fun colors too. Ergo Juniors. These have been here for a little while, but I don't think I've ever shown them on my channel. The poster letters that look like wood, these make awesome signs for DIYs and like home projects. Those are really cool. I'm shocked my store still has any. They also have these scissors by Jot. Perfect for preschool, early years, and little hands. Lift assistance. So it's got like that little thing right there. Cute erasers. So many school supplies right now. Office supplies, which is awesome. a couple times and then never used them. Need to find mine. They have a new mermaid decal. Look how pretty. Is she gorgeous? Well, there's quite a few actually. There's only one of these left. So pretty. Seahorses and turtles and seashells. Love this. Oh, there's one down there. I thought this was the last one. So last time we were here, he was putting this display together. So I thought we'd take a peek. Table covers, pretty pumpkin there. Really nice. These are like the vinyl plastic. The glare is so bad, sorry. Pumpkins, more scatter. They've got some of the napkins. Let me put those aside for a second so I can show you guys some of the platters. Thankful. This one has leaves on it. Be nice. You can use it for anything really in the fall season. Let's see. Let's see if we move these. Maybe they're just the two designs so far. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're just the two designs. I like that one a lot though. It's very pretty. And then we see these come back year after year. They are nice. Great little candy dishes, I think. That's what I've used them for. It's pretty burnt orange color. You get 36. That's pretty good for a dollar. It's really nice mustard color. Totally my style. I love this. This green is gorgeous. This is like a burnt deep orange color. And down here we have, oh, so pretty. Thankful. And the little beverage napkins. There's 24 in the beverage napkins, and they are 14 in these. So last time I was here, they only had one type of these, and I ended up buying them, and I do like them. I will tell you that they are long and skinny, not shorter and wide, if that makes sense. I think when you open the box, and I don't, want, I don't really want to open someone else's box, but when you open the box, they look square. When you take them out, they're long and skinny, which is fine. They're definitely just one use for sure, but I did like them. So if you see them, you get a lot of them, 15 in the box. Totally worth it. Throw a couple in your gym bag, your, your, you know, your purse, or just need to freshen up for any reason, really. I did like these a lot. So they've always had the multi-purpose Epsom salts by Assured. These are new. Post-workout Epsom recovery. So cooling citrus helps muscles recover from exercise, fatigue after workouts, energizing, invigorating. So this is one pound, and those are 16 ounces. Same difference. But yeah, I know people like these. They don't do anything for me, to be honest. But um, I may try this one. Hopefully it works a little bit better. Because, you know, sometimes I do my pedicures at home and I like to kind of soak my feet. Or if you just have a long day on your feet, it's nice to soak your feet. Let's 
see, this is where I bought them last time. And then they had more of them in the aisle. You probably just saw that clip right before this one. The mermaid brushes are making an appearance again. A whole bunch of them are already purchased. I don't know that I would love these for makeup brushes, but maybe for paint brushes. I'm sorry, I just don't think the quality is that great, and I know they're only a dollar, but let's see, this one I love to purchase, and this one, if you paint your own nails, because it's awesome, as long as you don't get the acetone or nail polish remover on the metal part, it's awesome for cleaning up the edges of your nails. Guys, I'm spending today. Don't judge me. Triple masking kit. A lot of you guys said these jade rollers are good from my last video. So they're really good for around your eyes and stuff. Because I was saying like I maybe wanted a bigger one. You guys were like, no, it's good for around your eyes putting it in the refrigerator. I just don't know that I need it. I'm puffy all over. The, the little bitty roller's not going to help me very much. Oh boy. Are these some new sinful colors? I don't like green normally, but that's really pretty. I have to do my nails today, actually. Oh, I like this color. I know I'm very boring and plain. I love being boring and plain. <laughs> this one's really pretty too. It's Revlon. Very sparkly. This burnt orange color. Deep, deep purple sparkle. Lilac color. I left my cart in the middle of the aisle. Pretty pink, light blue. I am rude. I know better. I know better. If you guys didn't see my um, last video, this Mega Girl stuff is awesome. It's by LA Colors, vitamins A and E. It's just really good. I think that's it for this aisle. I don't see too, too much new. I think these are one of the best deals at Dollar Tree. These artist canvas, five by seven, two pieces. Stretch canvas. This is a three pack. It's a really, really good deal. They have them in five by sevens, two pieces there. Then six by eight to stretch canvas. That one, this is the last one left. I really want these in white. I have them in green in my bathroom, but I really would like them in white. I haven't gotten a chance, or I, not even a chance, I haven't seen them anywhere. They're perfect for now you have an over the toilet like organizer, like shelving unit type thing. Well, I have three that fit perfectly in there, but they're green. I mean, green goes, but like, you know, maybe something a little more neutral would be good. Live for today. These are pretty. Perfume bottles. We saw those for a while now. Self-adhesive stencils. That's nice. It stays in place. Cute. Food sticker emojis. Oh, heads up, guys. I bought these. They came off the wall in two seconds. Rude. So rude. for backup, please. Acrylic paints. 
I tried to be an artiste on my second channel. I was not successful, but it was fun. And that's really all that counts with art, right? It's that it's fun. Window markers, finger paints. They don't always have this Mott's juice. It comes and goes, but it's a pretty good deal for a dollar. It's just randomly in the craft aisle. You know. You know what I want to check real quick? They still haven't gotten that Barbie stuff. They did a lot of cleaning since the last time I was here, which is awesome. But I want to get it for my niece. Is JoJo Seawall at the Dollar Tree? Wow. Little Yorkie. I have two Yorkies. I love my Yorkies. They're very, very loving dogs. If you have Yorkies, you know. All dogs are loving, of course, but Yorkies are attached at the hip, for sure. <laughs> Puppy play set. So <laughs> cute. Dollhouse furniture. That's a lot for a dollar. You get the doll, the couch, the table, the clock, and the lamp. That's pretty good. I don't see um I don't see the Barbie stuff yet. It'll come. Sometimes it just takes a little while. So the best way to do this, and this is that Dollar Tree. Yeah, I'm gonna exit. I get you. But maybe I can decorate it somehow. Give me ideas how to decorate this. I got this bifold. I used to do this a year ago, um, and it seemed to work out better, but I didn't have overhead lighting. I had lighting from behind, so it worked out a little bit better. Anyway, any ideas how to decorate this thing? Let me know. That'll be long-term solutions. I got this. I wanted these mason jar signs so bad, and I'm so excited that I got them. Uh, grateful and blessed. I think the wheelbarrow is absolutely gorgeous. And then I got the Hello Fall, and I'm not usually a glitter gal. A lot of you tell me to use hairspray and stuff like that. Sometimes these signs don't make it more than a year for me if they've got glitter on them. I usually give them to someone as soon as it starts falling. Ugh, it's not my thing. But the red truck is really, really nice. Look at the detail. I mean, it's so worth a dollar. Even if you only got one season from it, hopefully you get more. But it's so, so worth it. Let me move this out of the way. I have a bag right next to me. See if, see if we can do this together. Nothing perfect about this channel, that is for sure. Oh no, all my signs are together. I got this one for Thanksgiving. Give thanks, happy harvest. Maybe I can go up a little bit. Hey, is that better? That's way better. Give thanks, happy harvest, gather together, blessings, all are welcome, Thanksgiving. So that was great for Thanksgiving because you know, Thanksgiving's hard to decorate for. The stores don't really have as much stuff as they used to. Dollar Tree's still pretty good, though, I have to say. So they have, let me move this out of the way. The tag's bugging me. I did get the Red Truck Happy Harvest sign. In my last Dollar Tree video, they had these in a box, and they finally put them out. So I grabbed one of these. And then we're doing an over-the-shoulder toss here, guys. I really love this one, and I do have to fix it because... This came off before I even got it out of the store. When he was putting it in the bag, this kind of came off. He actually put it in backwards, so I just got to fix it. No big deal. I can hot glue it in the back. But isn't this gorgeous? Thankful and blessed. I love this so much. I love this pumpkin. This does not look like it was a dollar. It's got the little metal, well, like faux metal leaf right here. But the pumpkin itself is just beautiful. And then... I got this one. I love it. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love this one. Now let me show you some of the other items. I don't think I have too many left, but let me show you what I do have. Okay, so last we have these three headbands. I don't usually get the ones like this, how they go in with the comb, but uh, they didn't have my regular headbands. If you've been on my channel, you've seen the headbands I've purchased so many times over the years. 
I like to grab these for just when you get out of the shower, if you wanna put your makeup on, or maybe you wanna clean, and you just want your hair off your face. These work good for that. And then I did, as you saw in the video, get the post-workout Epson Recovery Soak. And we'll try that out and see how that is. I usually tell you guys when I buy stuff if I like it in future videos. And then just the two wet and wild brushes. And one I'm going to use to remove nail polish and the other one I'm going to use for some of my painting projects. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it to the end, make sure to hashtag ride or die in the comments. I'll have to approve the comment, but it helps me know who watched till the very end. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, it's super important. If you go next to my name, and then you see my sub number, you gotta click over there and there's a bell. And if you hit always, you'll be notified. So many of my subscribers have not hit that bell and you're not getting notified when I upload new videos. It's super helpful to me, the channel, and for you to be able to see my content. Thanks everybody, have a good one, bye-bye. <laughs>